Hello everyone and welcome back to Facebook Friday. This Friday we're going to be playing You Don't Know Jack for Facebook. I'm not actually really familiar with the TV show or the game show, but this game is hella hard. I am not going to lie. Just some of the things that they have in this game are completely insane. And as you can see down here there is a warning. You Don't Know Jack may contain mature content including adult humor and language that may not be suitable for children. Besides they won't get it anyway. Right, so this is definitely a game that you really got to have an a odd sense of humor, I guess. Some of it I don't even get. But it's basically like a trivia game, and we're going to play it. As you can see, um, you get one time to play every day. Other than that, if you want to play more, you have to have more of these coins to play, which I haven't done very good, so I don't have a lot of coins. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to play our one free game that we get. And they have commercials too. This episode of You Don't Know Jack brought to you by Glug Light Beer. Glug Light. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and can I play the spoons? I think that'll answer your question. Right. So there's a lot of dialogue in this game. Okay, on to our first question. To get things rolling, send in the clones. I've started a biotech business in my basement where I'm cloning celebrities, but they've been shrunk to about eight inches tall. If I were to offer a clone of Mila Kunis called Millie Kunis, how much smaller than the original should she be? Oh, one Jesus. Of a Kunis, one hundredth of a Kunis, one thousandth of a Kunis, or one millionth of a Kunis? I don't know. I'm just going to pick one. One tenth of a Kunis is all she showed in Black Swan. Bummer. Oh. oh no, I'll get this. The prefix milli denotes a factor of one thousandth. So as you can see, it's kind of a play on words. They leave hints as to what the actual answer is going to be. And it honestly throws me off, so... Oh well, I tried. Social app and uh oh, less tut mits cry. Uh oh. It's time for a flick or piss no come. Gibberish time. Now keep in oh, mind, geez. the quicker you answer, the more money at stake. Take a look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what common saying it rhymes with. Okay, we can do this. New scar butt? Do tweets. Uh Remember, ignore any punctuation. I have no clue what the heck this could be. It's about dietary habits. Mm, nope, still don't know. Uh it's about dietary habits and explains why I'm shaped like a Twinkie. What I have you no clue. Finds you. I don't know the answer. I can't think. Do I have to do Crap. Everything around here? Well, at least I didn't lose any money. Oh, you are what you eat. See? I hate this game. I hate this game. What you <laughs> Let's see. If I am what I eat and I'm a person... Then I've been eating people. I've been eating people. Yes, very interesting sense of humor. Definitely. So as you can see, so far I'm not doing very good. Coming up next, please do not be disturbed. What would a TripAdvisor.com review for the Overlook Hotel look like? Hell if I know. The bathroom door had an axe through it. The Ghostbusters uh, wrecked the dining room. The whole place was let's occupied pick by dogs. Or three. thinking of a scarier movie. Snow Dogs with Cuba Gooding Jr. Dang it. Where's that confounded right answer? The Overlook Hotel is the hotel in the horror movie The Shining, in which Jack Nicholson smashed through the bathroom door with an axe. Now how the hell was I supposed to know that? That movie is such a cliffhanger. I mean, did he ever finish his book? What did his publisher think? It's killing me! This is basically a guessing game for me, to be honest. It's time for... My condo's getting a triple bypass. So, I was clearing out my basement the other day, and I found this old fortune cookie under my water heater. I think maybe I was saving it for a special occasion, like nuclear war or something. But what the hell? I'm hungry! Cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, fortune. Oh boy. I've never played Alrighty. this one. Alright, let's see what we got. Home is where the heart is. Hmm, so I wonder, 
Because they lack a heart, which of these is the most likely to be homeless? Uh oh. An out of work starfish? What doesn't have a heart? I don't know. An oyster, uh, with a an oyster maybe? That doesn't Allow sound good. Me. Dag nabbit! Such as starfish do not possess a heart. If my fortune is true, I guess that means they don't possess a home either. Well, crap. And here I thought SpongeBob SquarePants was a hilarious cartoon when actually it's a horribly depressing tale of the homeless. Wow. Okay, so this is the last question before we go into. Oh, I lied. This is Jack Attack. Okay, so this is. I'll let him explain it. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, click the screen or press the space bar. A thousand big ones if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose a thousand. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Stop, thief! Okay, so something about steal? burglary. Good luck. What did they steal? Okay, let's see how we do. Okay, he stole Christmas. So where's that at? There it is. Ooh, I got one right, guys! Can you freaking believe it? Okay. Oh, crap. I don't remember. What did she steal? I might have missed it. Was it clothes? Dag nabbit. I don't even know who that is! Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to click, because every time I click, I'll lose money. Apparently, he got it right. I don't know that one either! Oops. Oh, God! No! Okay, I just started clicking. <laughs> I have no clue who that is. Oh, good! Not like I'm going to get any money out of it, though. Um, Tom Tom, what did he steal? A pipe? No. He stole nothing! I ruined it all! MC Hammer. I didn't know he stole anything. My childhood. Oh, I didn't know that either. Well, as you can see, viewers, I'm clearly not good at this game. At all. I tried. Kind of. And I'm down Dead here. Last. It really sucks when somebody steals from you, but it feels really great to steal from somebody else. So, I'm kinda on the fence about the whole issue. You don't know Jack! Well, that's You Don't Know Jack. And they give you your final score here, and then they allow you, if you sucked, to spin the loser wheel. From what I remember, hopefully they will. Well, congratulations! Your horrific score qualifies you for a spin of the loser wheel! Give it a twirl! Alright. See what the heck I can get. Probably nothing, because I suck at this game. Thanks for spinning the loser wheel. I got a dollar! Next time. Woohoo! I got something out of it, thank God! Right. <laughs> One dollar. Yay, go me! Awesome. Alright, so as you can see, I suck. That's all I have to say about this game. The game is fun if you're good with trivia and stuff like that and picking up subtle hints and such and I apologize for my lack of commentary but honestly I mean it's very hard to concentrate they got so much going on I mean they might as well have made this game distraction reaction or something crazy like that but anyways guys this has been Vega with Facebook Friday and I have been playing you don't know Jack if you think that you can do a lot better than me which I honestly believe anybody could do better than me at this point um, feel free to go to the link in the description and play the game yourself. Let me know what your score was, or if you like the game, or if you hate it just as much as I do. Regardless, I will see you next week, and until next time, stay pixelated, my friends.